My name is Sandra Villegas. I'm the director of CEI and recently named one of the Women in Innovation 2022 by Innovate UK. I'd like to talk a little bit about our company and the work that we're doing. We're a medtech company currently based in Nexus, the innovation hub at the University of Leeds. And we're collaborating with the NHS and professors to develop AI technology to tackle the radiology workforce crisis. We're a team of specialists ranging from researchers in computer science to orthopedic surgeons working towards the vision of reducing the workload of radiologists to help patients receive expert imaging diagnosis in many teams. Currently, in the UK, there is an increasing demand for medical imaging diagnosis, and there are simply not enough radiologists to keep up with. In fact, the NHS needs nearly 2,000 radiologists just to keep up with the demand for pre-coronavirus levels. And this gap between supply and demand for medical imaging diagnosis interpretation is growing so much that puts patients at risk. Due to this shortage of radiologists, when a patient suspected of a fracture attends the A&E department and receive an X-ray examination, this is commonly reviewed by non-radiological staff such as junior doctors or nurse practitioners, and they have a very short time to see the patients. If we take into account that these healthcare professionals do not have the years of radiology training that radiologists undergo, combined with the busy, hectic, high-pressure environment of the A&E, it makes a perfect storm for clinical errors. To put it in number, it has been reported that the error rate for junior doctors can be up to 30%. And as a matter of fact, fracture misdiagnosis makes up to 80% of all diagnostic errors in the AME department. And this could be reduced or avoided if radiographs were always read by a radiologist. But due to the shortage of radiologists, this is simply not possible. The issue of the workforce of radiologists is not new, but neither is the fact that it will not go away until we take action. And of course, there is no simple solution to solve the workforce crisis, but a little help can go a long way. With the power of technology, we can help reduce the workload of radiologists and clinicians and aid them to work more efficiently and to cope with the increasing demand. So we work together with clinicians and radiologists from the NHS to tackle this problem. We work on developing an AI-supported fracture diagnosis system called Fraxpert. Fraxpert is an innovative solution that can support healthcare professionals to detect subtle fractures. Deploying Fraxpert in the a and &E and radiology departments will have a significant impact for patients and clinicians. Clinicians, will benefit from a reduction of workload and will be able to confidently determine the presence or absence of fractures in extra images. Most importantly, patients will receive a timely and accurate diagnosis, which will lead to reduced waiting times and improve outcomes. Co-creation was a key in this project. Patients and doctors were involved from the very beginning. We organize a patient and public involvement group to understand the patient's experience with the problems in, in the AME department. We're also interested in knowing the public perception of usage of AI in healthcare. We also work closely with radiologists, emergency medicine doctors, nurses, and other clinicians. We visited several hospitals to understand the differences in their workflows and to really get the pain points of healthcare professionals. And I would like to show you some example outputs of um, how a fracture looks like. This is, is a novice example. You can easily see that the bone is broken, but not all fractures look like this. There are much subtle ones, and that makes the task harder. In this case, as I already spoiled it, there is um, an actual fracture on the distal radius and as well as an avulsion fracture on the tip of the ulna. And this is the output from Fraxpert. And as you can see, it was able to accurately detect both fractures. This output can serve as a decision aid or as a second head, um, second reader support for healthcare professionals. Fraxpert is cloud-based and it will be provided as a software as a service, allowing it to be integrated to different hospital systems and across vendors. We target medium to large size hospitals, both public and private, national and international, because the shortage of radiologists is not limited to the UK. And while the majority of AI companies focus on supportive radiologists that are performing much more complex tasks, such as CT scans or MRIs, 
we look at x-rays, which are much easier due to the number of studies that make up most of your radiologist workload. Long story short, we take care of the time-consuming tasks so that radiologists can spend more time focusing on complex cases. There is a big opportunity. Over 152,000 people are misdiagnosed every year just on wrists and ankle bones. And recalling these patients adds up to 30.2 million pounds expenditure over the course of five years that could have been avoided. In summary, reducing fracture misdiagnosis can help streamline patient pathways, which is crucial to maintain high standards of patient care. We started working on fracture in 2018, and since then, we have been able to take our initial research into a prototype built with the NHS that can positively change clinical practice. This has been possible because of the opportunity of collaboration that this region offers. The ecosystem here in Leeds works like a well-oiled machine. Everybody is always reachable and willing to help. And if they can provide the support you need, they will sign closer to the right person. The North of England provides support to access world-class facilities, investment opportunities, to find talent to fill any skills gap and much more. This has been and continues to be our experience. And I don't believe that we would have gotten this much support to take our technology and our company forward if we had been based in Wales. So if there are any companies looking to expand their business to the UK, I definitely think that the North of England is the best place, place to do it. And if you would like to connect and talk, please reach out to us. Thank you.